Hello everybody, this is Basker. Welcome back to an episode of Banish. And in the last episode, we set up this mine. We also set up like some dairy and I think some more um, general production. Um, not going to go back and recap the entire episode. It's been many days since I've played, actually. Um, probably close to three weeks now. Um, most of the other videos have been pre-recorded. But I want to see if I can knock out a couple of episodes today. I'm going to drop this down to two times, just because, like I said, don't really remember exactly what I was doing here. Um, looks like we did put in some workers here. And scroll out here. And, um, let's see. Let's bring up our... Oops. Not what I wanted. Um, professions list, yes. Full professions list. And let's see. Miners. Okay, so we do have um, full sets of miners. I was worried that miners from the other one might have come over here. I couldn't remember. I'm going to go ahead and close this little professions list. And I'm going to go with the big professions list. We'll use it for now. I find myself getting a little more into it here recently. So, um, a couple things we really need to do this episode is um, we need to get some homes closer to this mine, uh, so these guys don't have to walk so far, and also we need them to have a place to store the iron ore. So, let's get busy with that. And, let's see, let's start with the road, I think. And, let's go, how much stone do we have? Um, 350 stone. Let's go with um, let's go with the st stone and wood bridge. Is that what we did down here? No, we did a wooden bridge down there. Okay, let's just go with the wooden bridge. We can always change it. And let's see, how do I want to handle this? We do have a road that kind of comes up over here already. Um, this is our um, oh, that's not a road actually. That is a um, storage. Oh, that's our um, little um, hub for wood and such, so yeah, let's not do that. Let's do this down here, I think. So we got this guy, the... Fit there? I think that'll work. And then I am going to... Gonna build a country road. Hold off on building. Well, let's do here. Was well, I want to put some homes in over here now? If I remember correctly, does he have a negative effect? He does not apparently have a negative effect. Good to know. Okay, so let's get in some homes over here then. And this one does. Um, yeah. So this won't be a problem. And I think I'm going to go with um, being out here like this a little bit. Let's go with maybe some log cabins. Now, before I actually do this, whose radiuses am I impacting? Not really. Not at all. Not at all. Um, not at all. So... That's something I'm going to take care of at some point, too, is maybe do something different with these homes. Maybe not. Maybe I just leave them as is. So let's do a home here. I'm going to put one, like, right there. Um, I might give it a little diversity if I put it sideways, maybe. No, I don't think I'll, let, let's just see what this looks like. Do a couple of homes there. And we are also going to need Hope I built that uh, road to the bridge correctly on the other side. I think I did. Kind of want to do something like this. We'll do something like that, and then I'll get us a bridge over here, and then we need um, stockpiles, probably. Let's see, it's kind of 
thinking I just want to build like a really big stockpile right, right there maybe. Yeah, let's put it right there. here and I will say that I had a game crash um, last two or three playthroughs so far I haven't noticed any actual problems um, I have backups of my saves so hopefully we don't have any major ordeals but um, just an FYI um, it could be a mod conflict or anything might be nothing don't know a smokehouse up and going um so let's see I th we was wanting to do fish i do believe but we're gonna have to have barrels and i'm trying to recall if we have a cooper anywhere i don't think we do i'm not sure what he's called i think he's just called a cooper in here too and he's not there so we're gonna have to build a cooper yes there we go and I'm going to pause this really quick because I'm noticing stuff's running pretty slow, so... Um, let's do this. And where do we want to build the Cooper? I guess it makes the most sense building as close to the... Um, smokehouse as possible. I don't know if I want to build him right up but against these houses or not. Maybe... Maybe something like this... I don't know, I kind of like the idea of more houses coming this way, except for... Yeah. Eh, let's just do this. Do I have... Yeah, I've got enough room going up through there for an entire road, so... Let's do this. I don't think I can fit two. No can't fit too. Well, that's okay. We'll have a little room for something back here. Um, so we'll get the cooper up and going, and then we're going to put um, a guy to work in here. Um, and let's see. Jump 10 ore all the way over here. Somewhere we have a um, trader that came in. There he is. Let's see, what do we got? And in the last episode, we did set up, um, so we got uh, 10 soup coming into our food supplier here, and then over here we're using candles now. And we also put in this uh, big magazine, I believe that was in the last episode. And we've got rice farmers as well. And we're going to do something with the rice farmers. I um, haven't decided yet. Maybe a distillery. Let's see. So... Now, if you remember correctly, back when I started this um, season, I said that we're going to use our tent soup to purchase food rather than growing it. So ideally, we switch over to all tomatoes at some point and we use the tomatoes to make soup um, or maybe you know other kinds of veggies or something I'd, you know if we want to diversify or something but um, for the most part I was thinking tomatoes and turn the tomatoes into soup sell the soup for real food and then um, that would be a really good way to go and same thing with fish um, the smoked fish I'm doing I you know if you can see right here they um, cost four I think they'll sell for four as well um, so whether or not that's cost effective to do I don't know but it might be um, but we're producing a lot of fish so we either need to produce it and sell it or we need to um, stop producing it uh, because I really would like to see when this episode's all or not episode but when the season's all said and done I'd like to see this town is self-sustained by soup factories as much as possible um, it's okay if we're eating the soup too I mean I can't it's not like I can really tell the game don't eat soup or anything like that but Thirteen more. Let's see, five is going to be fifteen. I'm overpaying by two. We'll take a butter. Boom. I 
and just like that we got a pretty good influx 7,000 food that we're gonna bring into the community go ahead and send him away now like I said ideally I would like to just purchase food um, but it's kind of difficult to do because some of that food is gonna count as um, four costs and five costs and things like that so we'll probably manually do this for now all right I kinda like the way this magazine looks over here kinda think it fits in um, I probably should have played with the model a little bit one of the models probably has an open door I would have rather had that but I'm not gonna rebuild it just for that oh and another one I may forget, but um, so just in case I do, I'm going to talk through these. But um, I'm probably going to try to cut most of the trading out. Um, just show the like the little final part of it. That's kind of my goal for most of this. Um, we should be able to buy just about anything we want now since we're producing um, things specifically for this. So um, I want to definitely get the lamp oil. Oh, it's auto saving. Um, kind of wouldn't mind having the fancy furniture, maybe. We'll see. Let's let's take a look. What else do we have here? Um, tools. We're pretty good on tools, and I think we're producing tools decently well. Now, hardwood is something we might actually need for building. I want to say to build fancy furniture, we have to produce hardwood. Um, might be worthwhile. Iron. Um, got a decent stockpile of it, but I think it'd be a good idea to take some more. Um, iron and stone are really the things I need to probably buy the most. In fact, I think I'm going to cut down on the fancy furniture. I don't think we'll ever really need quite that much of it, at least not anytime soon. I'm going to say 20. Um, and I'm not going to buy that right now. Um, he's got some homewares. And we can produce them, but... And it's cheaper, but I think it's... Um, actually, I don't know if we're producing homewares at all right now, so we'll, I think we'll do that. 40, so that would be um, 15. Yep. So there we go. Trade away some candles and boom. Now, this is one where we probably will eventually start using the auto purchase to keep our stone and iron up and going. Um, I'm not going to worry about it right now. Holy cow. Lots of traders. Um, okay. Quick look here. I really don't think we need to be buying most of this. Now, glassware is something to consider. Um, if we set up a distillery for rice, which I'm pretty sure we can turn rice into rice wine, um, I just don't know if we need glassware to do that or not. It might not be a bad idea to have it on hand, and we got plenty of... Um, cash to do it. And by cash I mean pottery. Um, our coat production's way down. I mean I could take in some leather or something to offset that. Um, our people don't really need coats though um, for the weather that we're in. So I think I'm just going to get the little, uh, glassware right now. That's 500 glassware. That's a, that's a lot of um, booze that we can make with that. So we'll do that. I'm back to using a timer, guys. Be proud of me. Looks like likely. So let's see. What do we got here? We got our um, iron stockpiles up and going. Um, they are producing iron. I'm not exactly sure where they're taking it, though, because there's none here. So that could be interesting. Um, our road is up and going. That's good. We've got a um, couple of guys here. We've got miners here are working, but... Um, they're not coming over here. I kind of tempted to put in a couple houses here. I mean, that's going to affect their happiness a little bit. And we're producing beer and such that'll help giving them some more happiness. 
So, yeah, I think I am going to actually put in a couple more homes. And I am going to build, I think I'll build some cabins again. Um, let's do this. build a couple of them right here. And let's see, I do believe our iron five people were producing iron ore fairly quickly. Um, and I suppose it's possible they're just immediately taking the iron ore down to the furnace. That's certainly possible. They might just be stockpiling it outside right here too. Yep, they are. Where's this guy taking it? Tools, iron... He's got three iron ore. Um, let's follow this dude. Let's see where he's taking it. If you don't use this feature, I do highly recommend it. I wouldn't want to use it like all the time by any means, but... Um, oops, okay, so he's used it. So let's exit follow mode. Uh, he still actually has some iron ore. Okay, so I'm not exactly sure what he did. <laughs> I've lost him, I think. Oh, there he is. Yeah, there we go. that's him. Okay, so follow again. Let's see where he goes. Okay, so he's taking it to the marketplace. So, um, is he the? M he's just a laborer. But he did take it to the marketplace. Not exactly where I want my iron to be going, although that's not so bad because I mean the, they're right here. But um, hmm. maybe I should put in a small market over here. A little iron cart. I think they would use this more by default. Right there. And I know it's down here somewhere. What'd I do with him? Okay, pause again. He's in here somewhere. There he is. Okay, so I'll put that up there. And yes, I know we do have a trader that came in, so let's there. And let's do a crunchy road. Um, where's it at? Well, crud. Um, and that's the timer for the episode. go a few more minutes here. So, like I said, I think that by the time I get done editing this. So I think that's the cart right there. It is. So let's do this. Yep, we'll build it right like that. And then um, with any luck, this little cart will entice them to come and get iron here. And we're actually at our count for iron, I guess? We are. Let's fix that problem. Don't want to cap out. Let's do that. And... Where's my blacksmith set? one blacksmith right here. Um, it might be worth upgrading these guys at some point. Just so that we can have more than one working there. Let's see, let's set his tool production up to 600. And 
trader. Where's our trader? Here he is. Let's see what does he got? More food. Now, see, this is the main thing. I though I think we're I may end up deciding to use the purchase option anyways. Um, just because they're going to be coming in so often, I think this is going to become a um, not a problem, but a I think it'll become more trouble than it's probably worth keeping it. Now see, like like bamboo, what's it considered? Um, a vegetable? A fruit? I don't want to be buying the bamboo. That That's where the problem lies. I'm sorry if the mic got screwed up there. I had to adjust it. Um, so, some of this is, might be, might end up being problematic. Um, now one way I could take care of that be buy just meat for instance and you know they could and then buy um, uh, things and then we, we could do um, purchase um, when they leave and that would give me the opportunity to take a look at what they're buying and uh, say oh no 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 I don't want that um, I, th I believe I haven't actually done that um, but I believe that it'll show me what they're purchasing Let's do that. And dismiss. So we'll we'll take a look into doing that, I think, in the near future. Um, with auto purchase. We'll just try it. We're producing enough soup that it probably won't be that big of a deal. Um, okay, so I'm gonna get uh, the iron cart guy working here. And you know, even though we have this negative effect, this guy would be really ticked off living here. It might actually be worthwhile to put him there. How are we doing on homes? I need to kind of wrap this episode up here a bit. So, um, we need a lot more homes. And let's go ahead before we end this episode. Um, we need to create uh, barrels out of caskets here. We'll go ahead and pump two people in there. We've got more than enough people working. And um, log and barrel uh, for the smoked fish. It's gonna really impact our. Um, actually, I think I'm gonna do this. Let's. Um, I'm gonna drop that down to one because we're gonna really impact our wood production. I think, and you know, we've been doing pretty good on wood production, but that's something we don't want to um, have a problem with. And we're not currently able to just purchase stuff. This guy could be bringing some. That's possible, but um, wood is something we're gonna want to start purchasing because it's. One of the more difficult things to um, keep going, in my opinion. I'm going to up this guy 5,000, just keep producing it. Um, in my opinion, though, it's just one of the things. It takes a lot of land to pr keep producing wood, so it's just something I don't want to um, have to dedicate a ton of land to outside of what we're already using. So, anyways, guys, I do believe I'm going to call this an episode prior to this guy actually getting to his um, destination here. We'll take a look here at our iron main mine, kind of where we started. Um, he's producing pretty good, and um, iron is getting over here, so hopefully that's where they'll take it. We shall see. But I do believe I'm going to call this an episode, and I'm planning on just going right into recording the next one. So uh, like, comment, subscribe, feel free to share the video if you'd like, and I'll see you next time.